So the first step is installing Node.js because if you don't install Node.js, you cannot run any JavaScript file on your computer. So in order to do so, you should simply type Node.js, Node.js, and you should press enter. And as you can see, this is the first website. You should click on it. So as you can see, it says download Node.js LTS. LTS means long-term support. So you should click on it. And now you should wait for the download process. That's it, you can see we have downloaded this file. So this is the file which we have downloaded. So I double click on it. And here I press next and I accept and I press next. And here once again, I press next. Once again, I press next. I don't want to check this one. If you want, you can check it. So I press next and I press install. And I should wait for the installation process. That's it, you can see Node.js has been successfully installed. So I click on finish. So now we want to download and install VS Code. In order to do so, we simply type VS Code download, that's it. And I click on this link. And because I'm on Windows, I click on this one. And I should wait for the download process. So this is the file which I have downloaded. So I should double click on it. And here I should accept the agreement. I click on this and I press next. And here is the install location. I press next and I press next and I press next and I press install and I should wait for the installation process. That's it. I should check this one, launch Visual Studio Code and I press finish. And here is Visual Studio Code. So I maximize it and in this page so as you can see i want to use this one dark modern and here i scroll down and i click next section and here i click on mark done so now in order to create a new javascript file i should click on this one which says explore so i should click on it so here because my files my javascript files or whatever are going to be stored in a folder i should specify a folder for those files so i click on this open folder for example suppose that i want to choose this folder and i press select folder and it says do you trust the authors of the files in this folder yes i trust so i check this one and i click this one and now let's create a JavaScript file. In order to do so here, as you can see, one of the icons is this one, which says new file. I click on it and then I want to create a file, for example, called code01.js and I press enter. So first of all, let's close this welcome tab. As you can see, this is the welcome tab. I want to close it and also I want to change the font size and I want to make it bigger. In order to do so, I go to file then preferences and then settings and here i simply type font in order to search for font and this is the thing i want to change i want to change it for example to i don't know for example 30 that's it and i close this and as you can see the font size has been changed so now let's type something let's type a very simple thing i simply type console.log and let's type for example hello that's it and I now I want to run this program. The easiest way is using an extension. So because there are other ways as well, but the easiest one is using an extension. So in order to do so, I click on this one, which says extensions. And here I simply search for code runner. And as you can see, this is the extent, this is the extension. So I click on it and I press install. That's it, you can see we have installed this extension. So I close this one and I go to this Explorer tab. And now as you can see, we have this icon, which is the run code icon. But now if you click on this, nothing is going to happen. So let's click on it. And as you can see, it is running this code and it says that the running process has been done but you can't see anything in the output. And maybe you ask why? The reason is that you haven't saved your code. And this is the sign, this white circle means that you haven't saved your file. So I should press Control S on my keyboard in order to 
save this code and after that I should click on this run icon and now I can see the results by the way in this output tab you can see the previous ones as well if you want to clear the output it's very easy you should right click on it and clear output that's it and let's close this